amazing people of God, you're welcome to this beautiful edition of Encounters with the Parasites. Our topic for today is the spirit of unity. The spirit of unity. And our key text is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 133, verses 1 to 3. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the bird, even Aaron's bird, that went down to the skirts of his garments as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Unto the background and thought on the text. Indeed, a house divided among itself cannot stand. Sadly, we spend so much time fighting against one another in Christendom. When a house is divided among itself, it cannot stand. But unfortunately, as Christians, we fight against ourselves every single day. Now, if the devil could... He would have destroyed the church a long time ago by just giving us, giving us enough reasons, more than enough reasons to fight, especially on social media. But I'm thankful that he doesn't have such powers over the church. We have to be grateful to God for that. Thank God he doesn't have such powers. Jesus Christ said that upon... He said to Peter, you are a rock, and upon this rock I shall be my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Else, even for that declaration made by Jesus, I'm sure by today the church would have been destroyed. Now let's go. You may have heard about the Tower of Babel. It's a story in Genesis chapter 11 of the Bible. These fanatical dreamers thought it would, have, it would make a lot of sense to have a tower that reaches into heaven. Suddenly... They sprang into actions to actualize their vision. In unity of purpose, they began to build until God had to come down to see what they were doing. And guess what? He was shocked because of what unity. They came together and said, let us build something new that will help us. If they want to fight, we can just run up to heaven. And because of the spirit of unity, God was shocked. When he saw that those people actually thought of it and were carrying it out. He was shocked by the imagination of man's heart and how this set of people could achieve whatever they set their minds to do. To stop them, he quickly changed their languages and set confusion in their midst. At this time, because they could no longer understand one another, they abandoned the project and went their separate ways. Now let us look at how this text applies to us. No vision is too big to be actualized. Remember those people that built the Tower of Babel came together. Let us be the tower that can keep us safe when trouble comes down to heaven. Because of unity, they came together, actualized this dream. So no vision, no dream is too big to be actualized. However, for any vision to be actualized, all its stakeholders must be of one mind and fit to run at the required pace. So if you have a vision, it is not too big for you to actualize it, for you to realize it. You have to have one mind. After a vision has been cast, it is expected that those and to whom it expected that those two and for whom it was cast should run with it. The spirit of unity is a spirit that says we are in this together. It is a spirit of excellence and teamwork. The spirit of unity is a spirit that says we are in this together. We are doing this together. So we have to work together. There should be teamwork. And when there is teamwork, excellence is born. Now let us go on. What is this? What, what, what is the spirit of unity? It's a spirit where each player takes ownership of the vision, not in an authoritative manner, but in a submissive manner that is ready to work. When you talk about the spirit of unity, it's a spirit that every player, 
everybody in that particular vision comes to say yes you're taking ownership of this not in an authoritative manner not sitting down to say hey, i'm the head i have to give the instruction no in a submissive manner let us work together let us come together and see that this dream is actualized now we go on what is the spirit of unity it is a spirit that drives everybody to value their roles and play them effectively when there is teamwork you, you you value your role your roles you you place good worth on the role you have been given to play you don't look at the other person's own you look at yours and the the, the 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 vision drives you to play that role effectively for the church or any other venture to match on in peace there must be unity for the church and every other venture, organizations, businesses, schools, or what have you, for there for you to match on in peace, for you to for you to actualize a vision that you have laid down for yourself, there must be one thing, and that is unity. You have a role to play, so play it. As a church, especially. Now instead of fighting ourselves on the social media, let us come together unify be let, let us be unified and instead of fighting ourselves and not fight the enemy and bring unity to the church unity to ourselves and you see that souls will be one and god will be happy because he's interested in souls now let us say this prayer together with your right hand lifted up say lord bind the church together in love now let us be intentional about this prayer say lord Bind your church together in love. In Jesus' name. Amen. Action point. Be the peacemaker and glue in your church and biological families. Be the peacemaker. Where there's chaos, where there's disunity, be the peacemaker. And glue in your church. Okay? Glue in your church and your biological families. I want to say a very big thank you for you joining us on the special edition of Encounters with the Past Saints. My name is Recovery and Otobo. Keep watching Life Center Network for more interesting and beautiful programs. God bless you. To have a blessed day ahead. Mm -hmm.